Again, for the Daily Wire, representatives for the Bud Light brand owned by uh, Anheuser-Busch confirmed a brand partnership with trans-identifying acti- activist Dylan Mulvaney after followers speculated the whole thing could be an April Fool's Day prank. Now, if you, by the way, if you were one of those people, we talked, uh, you know, a couple days ago about Bud Light sponsoring Dylan Mulvaney, congratulating him on his day 365 of womanhood, or no, sorry, girlhood, because again, this is a grown adult man who is very specifically pretending to be an, an underage adolescent girl. Um, so congratulating him on three, day 365 of quote unquote girlhood. We talked about that, and I saw even in the comments there were people speculating that, well, no, this can't be, this is, this is an April Fool's prank. This came out around April Fool's. It must be a big prank from Dill Mulvaney. I don't, okay, this is, this is still the kind of coping that we have to put to the side now. We have to get past this. Like, if you're still in a position, if you, if you still are, like, it's hard for you to believe that Bud Light would sponsor Dylan Mulvaney, um, that just shows me that you really haven't been paying attention and you need to clue into reality. There is, there's nothing unbelievable about it at all. And these are a lot of the same people who, who still insist that uh, maybe this whole Dylan Mulvaney thing is all one big prank by him. He's, a, he's Andy Kaufman. It's a, perfor- it's a performance artist. This is all one big troll. I mean, this, this can't actually be serious. No, it is serious. Now, it's not, he's not actually a woman, obviously, but he is seriously trying to identify as one. He wants to be taken seriously as a woman. It's not a prank. It's not a, anything like that. And yes, we live in, an occult, in a culture where the, the major brands are going to line up and uh, they're going to fall prostrate to the ground and worship at the feet of somebody like Dylan Mulvaney. That's where we live. A spokesperson for the company told Fox News, Anheuser-Busch works with hundreds of influencers across our brands as one of the many ways to authentically connect with audiences across various demographics and passion points. From time to time, we produce unique commemorative cans for fans and for brand influencers like Dylan Mulvaney. This, This commemorative can was a gift to celebrate a personal milestone, and it's not for sale to the general public. So yes, this was a real sponsorship, um, as we should have always assumed. Mulvaney has partnered with multiple national brands for advertising campaigns on social media, including KitchenAid, Kind Snacks, wedding dress brand ASOS, uh, uh, Mac Cosmetics, and others. This guy has, I mean, he really has dozens of corporate sponsorships. Because again, that's the kind of culture we live in. We should probably clue into it by now. And we need to decide, like, when are we as conservatives actually going to make a concerted and real effort to do something about this? That we complain about it. We complain about the fact that all these corporate brands are spitting in our face all the time. And uh, they're, they're, they're like going out of their way to alienate their own customer base. And then some more cope. We say, oh, go woke, go broke. No, I wish it was that way, okay? I wish it was that way, where a company goes woke and then they go broke. That's not how it works, actually. In fact, they go woke and they continue making billions of dollars. That's how it works. Go woke, make billions of dollars. We have the power, we have the ability to make some of these companies go broke. We could do that, but we don't. Pure Talk is the antidote to woke wireless companies. It's proudly veteran-owned, employs a U.S.-based customer service team, and absolutely refuses to spend money on fake news networks. Here's a look at what a future without Pure Talk would look like for you. For those of you who uh, can't see what's playing out on the screen right now, I am currently texting with my producer, Sean, on a phone that's serviced by one of the big three wireless networks. Sean says, have you seen the post about the left trying to cancel you again? To which I reply in this very real conversation, they're always trying to silence me and it's never going to work. Because that's the kind of thing that I would say in a text message, you know, in real life. I would text that to someone. When are people going to accept that men are men and women are women? On the autocorrect, changes men to MXN and women to WOMXN, if you can believe it. This is what you get with woke wireless, uninvited lessons in political correctness. If there's anyone I trust to not only give me the best service for my money, but also not try to force their politics on me, it's pure talk. No contracts, no hassle, and they respect your politics. Right now, you can get unlimited talk, text, and plenty of 5G data for just $30 a month. Keep your phone, keep your number, or choose from the latest iPhones and Androids. Go to puretalk.com, enter promo code Walsh to save an additional 50% off your first month. 
That's puretalk.com, promo code Walsh. Pure Talk is simply smarter wireless. There is strength in numbers, especially in a marketplace. It's true that every major corporation is woke. They all are, right? And so we, we can't realistically boycott all of them. And if we did that, then you wouldn't even be able to watch this show right now because the phone you're using or the laptop you're using to buy it on is made by a woke company. You bought it from a woke company. You're using a woke company's, uh, you know, internet service provider. Um, you know, so we, bo- we boycott all of them and we basically can't live in the modern world. And we also have no way to even organize any kind of boycott like that because all the all of the, uh, the, the mechanisms that we use to, mor- to, to, uh, to organize them are also owned by, by the woke. So, yeah, we can't boycott all of them. That's true. But we can pick some of them. Okay, this is something that we talked about this in the backstage episode um, on Monday. It's, it's something that the, the left is, they're, they're very good at doing this. Where they, they pick someone, they pick a victim, and they make an example of them. Okay, they, they pick somebody out, whether it's an individual or a company that has offended them, has crossed them, and they say, we're going to take you down. We're going to destroy you. Okay, you have become our personal project. Not because you're the worst as far as we're concerned, but, uh, but just because you're the, one, you're the one we've chosen. And the left will do that, and they'll stay on it until they tear this, this victim down. Now, on the right, we could do the same kind of thing. And the only difference is that we're choosing people and companies that actually deserve it. And we'd be wielding this power for good. So yeah, we can't make all the woke companies go broke, not not even close to it. But we could choose one company that does something outrageous to alienate and spit in the faces of their own customer base. And we could say, okay, We've chosen you, and we're going to bankrupt you. Because in reality, there are millions and millions of us, and you do need us to buy your product. And if we don't, you're going to suffer. Okay? And you've you got mass layoffs in your future uh, and all the rest of it. We could do that, but it takes, it takes uh, organization. It takes follow-through. It takes a certain, you know, sense of kind of ruthlessness. Because, yeah, if you do that, you take a company down, you, you, you know, you, you uh, affect their bottom line to that extent. There are people that work for the company that aren't evil people. They just have jobs and they're probably going to lose their jobs. And that's, you don't want to see that. It's, just, it's unfortunate. But these are, these are necessary casualties. So we have to have the willingness, the willingness, we have to have the ruthlessness, we have to have the organization, the attention span, and the follow-through. And on the right, we have none of that. Easily distracted, we move from one thing to the next. And anytime any one of us tries to say, let's focus on this issue, let's focus on this institution, let's focus on this thing right here and try to make something happen, you're then going to have, you know, 50,000 people who are also on the right, come along and say, well, why them? What about this? This is, this is bad. Yeah, sure, you'll do that. But then these people over here are just as bad. So what's the point of even trying? We allow ourselves to get distracted by these losers who uh, have no interest in winning, don't know how to win. We've got to stop doing it. 